today we are going to solve an exponential equation with five identical uh, sum ends. And really, you might think you need um, logarithms here, but you can get by with just properties of exponents. Uh, so let's write down some fairly obvious statements here. Uh, 625 is 5 to the fourth power. Okay. And uh, that combined with the fact that uh, if you have it base, exponential base, raised to a power, that's tantamount to just a multi multiplying the two exponents. And you can think of this as n copies of m copies, if you want to think of it that way. So it's just a combinatorics exercise, actually. So this is just a to the mn, right? And that's precisely what we did right here. We replaced 625 with 5 to the 4th and applied this property to get this statement right here. So we have five sum ends, but now we have it written as 5 to the 4x uh, summed five times. Okay, now the next trick, I guess, that it eludes some people that are looking at it. I know it did me the first time. You're better off just rewriting this is five times five to the four X. And once again, this makes it amenable to a particular uh, property of exponents, very well known property. It's a little easy to miss this though, in my opinion. So there's an understood one right there, right? And so that means when you have something like this in the form a to the m, b to the m, you can just add the exponents. And it's again, it's about counting. There's one copy of five here. There's four x copies of five right here. So you have five raised to the four uh, x plus one. That's the value of the exponent when you sum the exponent 4x with the exponent 1, okay? Now remember, what is the original problem? It's equal to 1 25th, but remember this is just 5 to the minus 2, another property of exponents, okay? So we're going to equate this to 5 to the minus 2 just because it's convenient, and the exponential function is a 1 to 1 function. That's important. Uh, that means we can equate these exponents, and so what we end up here with is a 4x plus 1 equals to negative 2. Okay, folks, and when you uh, subtract 1 from both sides and divide by 4, you end up with x is equal to minus 3 over 4. Minus 3 fourths. Okay, we come create a little bit of space here. Okay, so that's x is equal to minus 3 fourths, which is the solution. And again, what made this work out nicely, um, if this wasn't some power of 5 over here, you would be stuck just doing logarithms, okay, but it was a power of 5, and so you could just stick to the routine um, properties of exponents. And this fact right here that you can uh, equate the exponents. We equated this exponent with this exponent because the bases are the same and this particular function happens to be one-to-one, -one, which is important. It's something that's not mentioned often. I don't think in classes you just go, okay, you cancel the fives, but it has to be a one-to-one -one function for that, to, for that to hold up. And you can just imagine like the square function. It's not one-to-one -one and you couldn't, if you equated exponents on something like that, you'd, you'd end up with a, with a, you know, faulty reasoning there. But anyway, x equal minus three-fourths let me write it up here too, just uh, okay. Have a good day.